At this time, I'd like to ask for our graduates to please rise for the playing of Pomp and Circumstance performed by the North High Wind Ensemble and Symphonic Orchestra. While Pomp and Circumstance plays, the Board of Education, District Office personnel, as well as North High Administrators and Guidance Counselors will take the stage. Please remain standing, graduates. Welcome to the commencement ceremony for the graduating class of 2021. To begin the ceremony, please stand and join me in honoring our country. We will open by reciting the Pledge of Allegiance, and I will ask that you join me. This will be followed by the national anthem performed by the class of 2021's very own Chloe Fisher. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. At this time, please join me in the saying of the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet Ladies and gentlemen, Chloe Fisher. You may be seated. Wow. You hear pomp and circumstance that sounds like it's professionally done by our own wind ensemble and symphonic orchestra. Nice round of applause for you guys, because that was amazing. And then we follow it up with the, the national anthem from Chloe. That, that was absolutely beautiful, Chloe Fisher. Thank you so much. Once again, good evening. My name is Joe Sutton, and I'm the principal at Fort Zumwalt North High School. It's truly an honor to be here with you this evening to recognize our graduating seniors, the strong, the talented, the resilient men and women who make up our graduating class of 2021. This is a special event in the lives of each of our seniors seated in front of us, as well as those who are viewing the ceremony virtually, and of course, all the family and friends who've joined us this evening. An impressive accomplishment such as a high school graduation is worthy of a dignified ceremony. And it's with this in mind that we ask the graduates and spectators to maintain certain expectations. 
First and foremost, we ask that spectators show their appreciation for our graduates in a respectful manner. Applause is absolutely encouraged, but we do ask that it's done in a tasteful manner warranted by such a formal event. Air horns, cowbells, things like that really aren't appropriate in this setting. Finally, in the event you've not done so already, I would ask that you put your cell phones on silent during this time. Likewise, I know that our graduates are prepared to remain dignified throughout our ceremony. They too realize the importance of appropriate and formal behavior and understand that actions to the contrary really aren't acceptable. It's our hope that all spectators and graduates will help us make this the very best commencement in the long and storied history of Fort Zumwalt North High School. I thank you for your cooperation, and I hope that you enjoy this evening's program. Before I get too far ahead of myself, at this time I'd like to recognize four distinguished guests who've joined us this evening. First, the Mayor of O'Fallon, Missouri, the Honorable Bill Hennessy. Mayor Hennessy. <clears throat> O'Fallon City Councilman, Mr. Dave Hinman. Dave, thank you. We have another city councilman here, Ms. Deanna Smith. If you'd stand, I know you're in the crowd. Thank you for joining us. And finally, State Representative for District 103 and Speaker Pro Tem, Mr. John Weeman. Thank you. Many thanks to all of you for being here tonight in support of our graduates and their families. It's also my pleasure to introduce our stage guests. I ask these guests to please rise as I introduce them and remain standing. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. First, from our Board of Education, the President of the Board of Education, Mr. Mike Swearingen. Member of the Board of Education, Mr. Thomas Emmons. Member of the Board of Education, Mr. Tommy George Jr. And member of the Board of Education, Mr. Craig Moore. From our district office, our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Bernard Debray. Our North High Administrative Team, Dr. Corbin Bushman, Mr. Jeffrey Fletcher, Mr. Tyler Horner, Mr. Casey Oliarnik, Mr. Drew Spiegel, and Mr. Ted Hickey. And from our guidance department, Ms. Nita McGill, Ms. Becky Seavey, Ms. Karen Wilson, and the reader presenting the class of 2021 tonight, Mrs. Teresa Niggis. And you may be seated. It's also my pleasure to introduce the class officers of this graduating class. If you would also please rise and remain standing, the president of the class of 2021, Ms. Morgan Bartold. And our four class officers, Mr. Daniel Geary, Ms. Grace Rogers, Ms. Sophia Miller, and Ms. Elena Ray Serna. You guys may be seated. And while I'm recognizing folks, I'd like to take a moment to recognize Ms. Lori O'Leary, who organized the slideshow for all of our seniors, as well as the class of 2021's very own Tyler Edwards, who created the very professional video vignettes that you viewed in anticipation of tonight's ceremony. Many thanks to you, Tyler, and to Ms. O'Leary. Finally, I would ask that our teachers and staff who've joined us here this evening, please rise and be recognized. Thank you so much for the support you give our students. So again, I know this is a little uncomfortable. Please rise and be recognized. Thank you guys so much for being here. You are so appreciated and you may be seated. Separately, and before I deliver my comments to our graduates, I'd like to ask for everyone to please join me in a moment of silence to remember any of our family and friends who were not able to be here tonight to celebrate with us this evening, but whom we brought here in our minds and in our hearts. Thank you. So once again, good evening. For some of you, this is probably a little bit of a late night for you. And for many more of you, by the time we wrap things up this evening, we will no doubt be past many of your traditional bedtimes. When we announced our graduation time, I received a number of phone calls. Among these was one from a very irritated parent 
who stated, though at the time I thought in jest, this is the latest graduation ceremony in the country. And when I got off the phone, I thought to myself, wow, talk about hyperbole. Come on now, surely we're not the, the latest graduation ceremony in the country. So I Googled, graduation ceremony, 9 p.m., nothing. Graduation ceremony, 10 p.m., doesn't exist. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations, because you very well may be participating in the latest graduation ceremony in the country. That's right. And for that, I am truly sorry. I wrestled with opening with an apology in my graduation speech, but as I continued to write it, I began to think about the importance of saying I'm sorry, and just as importantly, of forgiveness when others apologize to us. Whenever I think about graduation speeches, it seems there's a formula in place, and it goes like this. Normula, normally in the formula, there's a middle-aged person, be it male or female, out of touch, oftentimes pear-shaped, sometimes suffering from male pattern baldness, and this individual, with their best years behind them, has made many, many mistakes in their life. But they're here tonight sharing some advice and some hard-earned wisdom with the graduates. For the sake of the formula, I will be playing the role of the middle-aged man. And this failed individual in the formula is sharing advice, and they're sharing it with bright, beautiful, optimistic, hard-working young people who are about to embark on a very bright future. And again, for the sake of the formula, this role will be played by you. When the middle-aged author and Syracuse professor George Saunders played the role of middle-aged person when he delivered his address to Syracuse University, he shared what he regretted most in life were the times when he failed to be kind. That regret most assuredly resonated with me. But I think I would take my own personal failures and my regrets a step further. I not only regret times when I failed to be kind, but also the times that I failed to say I'm sorry. And just as importantly, the times when I've truly failed to accept an apology from someone else. To our parents and family members here tonight, I'm sorry. No, not because I'm personally responsible for COVID or all the things that it took away from your kids. I'm sorry because I know and understand the hurt that you felt. Graduates, if somewhere on your journey in life you find that you are blessed to have children of your own, I'm going to predict that you will begin to feel something that your parents feel. Because when you become a parent, things that happen to you personally are no longer of great consequence. That said, when things happen to your own child, oh heck no, you're not having it. Class of 2021, this is the first of two things that I want you to take away from my speech this evening, though I know you probably already know this. Your families love you beyond measure. You may no longer feel like a child, but you are our children. And no matter where you go, what you do, how old you get, you are always going to be ours. You are the walking embodiment of our past. You are our greatest connection to the present and you are our greatest hope for the future. You will go on to make us proud through your accomplishments in college, in employment, or your service in our armed forces. You are ours, and we will watch your trajectory and marvel at your progress with great anticipation and even greater pride. And this is why I believe I had so many passionate exchanges, received so many heartfelt emails, had so many spirited phone calls with your parents this year, because when you missed out on things, it wasn't only devastating to you, it was devastating for them to see you hurt. You see, those of us who have joined together in this arena take significant and a very, very significant amount of pride in you and all that you have done to get to this moment. The test, the triumphs, the trials, and the tribulations, this is a culminating moment, and it is one that this entire arena shares with you, because you are ours. Let me let you in on a secret. Right now, your parents, they're weak, and proud, and discombobulated, and excited, and sad, and overcome with emotion. For some of you, if you've ever wanted an extended curfew, 
or a zero interest loan or a pony, you are probably closer to getting it tonight than maybe you have ever been before. Because class of 2021, you are ours. Quick side note, Ellie Sutton Buttercup is scheduled to be delivered on Wednesday. My second apology, it goes to you, class of 2021. To our seniors, I am so very sorry. Everything, and I mean everything, was harder than it had to be. Harder than it's ever been before, hopefully harder than it will ever be again. While there are countless examples of things that were changed, compromised, limited, or canceled entirely, what amazed me the very most about you, class of 2021, is how you took what you were given and you found a way to make it work. Oh, how you made it work. In August, homecoming king soccer player and all-around good guy Jerry Tobar was interviewed by the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. When asked his thoughts about playing soccer in the midst of a global pandemic, Jerry responded, I'm just happy I get a chance to play. I have friends in the city and they're online school. They're not having sports. I see this as a blessing. Jerry's response is how so many of you took this situation. You found a way to consider whatever you got, whatever you were given, as a blessing, taking nothing for granted and fully embracing every opportunity that you had. You did as it says on the class of 2021 ceiling tile created by Taylor Cooper and Zoe Rogers that will adorn our drop ceiling in North High forever that says, you just kept swimming. And oh, how did you ever swim? Seated with us this evening are selfless and tireless philanthropists who've given hours upon hours in the midst of this global pandemic to others. We have all conference, all district, all metro performers, we have a Grow Your Own Teacher recipient and a thousand point scorer. We have students who embraced a memorable senior soiree and students who took their talents outdoors to perform for their classmates and their families. We have students who still managed to shine on the court, the stage, and the playing fields. We have students who create a 295 page yearbook when getting access to anything or anyone was harder than it's ever been before. We have students who have earned superior ratings and others who've been rated as the very best in the state. We have winners of medals from everything from the playing fields to FBLA to DECA contest and so much more. We have academic award winners and athletic award winners. See it among us are students who plan to continue their education as far away as Switzerland and those who plan to continue by serving in our armed forces, including one student who's earned placement in one of our prestigious military academies. Seated with us tonight are members of three different groups who all earn placement in the final four of their respective state competitions. Instead of the live performances, we were regulated to hosting live streams of some incredible performances. And we hosted a powder puff game for the ages. Many of you went to school face to face during a time when everything was more difficult, while others diligently maintained their studies virtually from home, where again, everything was more difficult. And all of this and so much more was accomplished more often than not while wearing a mask in relative obscurity with students being subbed in and out as the result of quarantines and whenever possible, staying six feet apart. I have no doubt that growing up, you had a picture of what your senior year was going to look like. And I have no doubt this wasn't it. And guys, for that, I'm sorry. I have no doubt that there were times this year that you were upset and countless times that you've been disappointed. And this is the second thing I want you to take away from this speech. Those feelings, they're valid, but do not dwell in that disappointment. Do not live there for long. You've had time stolen from you, but starting tonight, you make up for the time that's been stolen. Starting tonight, you, you plan your future and you make it great. When I tell you I, I'm sorry, I hope that maybe for some of you, that serves as that first step towards healing. As Tim McGraw sang in the song, Humble and Kind, don't hold a grudge or a chip and here's why. Bitterness keeps you from flying. In class of 2021, it is your time to soar. Congratulations, God bless you, and Godspeed.
this time, please welcome our superintendent, Dr. Bernard Debray, as he comes forward to make a number of comments and to introduce this evening's speaker. Dr. Debray. Thank you, Mr. Sutton. And on behalf of the Board of Education, I'd like to welcome you to this 59th graduation ceremony for Fort Zumwalt North High School. You know, I've been, uh, I haven't been here for all 59, but I've been here for 40 of them. The first one was 1983, when it was just Fort Zumwalt High School. And then in 1987, became Fort Zumwalt North. So I've seen a lot of graduations. 39 of them were pretty normal. The 40th one, not so much. I, I wanted to tell you that you are the first class to go, our students, to go through a high school year in a pandemic, since the first class since 100 years ago. You've done a wonderful job, guys. And let me tell you, we had to have three things happen in order to make it through this year from August 24th to June 1st without any shutdowns. We had to have your cooperation in wearing masks and social distancing and hand sanitizing. We had to have that or we wouldn't have made it. We had to have your teachers teaching under the most unusual of circumstances I can imagine. We had to have them do that. And we had to have your parents support the schools throughout this long, crazy year. And they did. And consequently, we went to school on August 24th when there was no vaccine out there. We're gonna finish the year with no shutdowns on June 1st when vaccines out there driving the positivity of the virus down. So give yourselves a hand because you did a heck of a job. This is a big deal for you tonight because this is a milestone in your life and there's only certain, certain milestones that you count on. One of the first is graduation from high school. This is a big deal because come tomorrow, you're no longer a student. You're a citizen of the world. You have an opportunity to go out and do whatever you wanna do, so that's a big deal. And it's a big deal for the Fort Zumwalt School District with our five high schools that we've graduated almost 1,400 students in the last two days. It's a big deal because we made it through the entire year of pandemic without a shutdown from August 24th to June 1st, and we showed the state of Missouri that a large school district can come back and can have their students face to face. And there's many, many, many more school districts throughout our country, country and just across the river that didn't do that. Some of those school districts, their students were out for an entire year. So you have had the opportunity to be back face to face with a few issues. You've had all your sports, all your sports finish their seasons, and many people didn't get to do that. So I think, um, I think Fort Zumwalt showed Missouri a thing or two about coming back to school. So Mr. Sutton gives me the privilege of a couple of uh, recognitions that I want to bring to your attention before I introduce your student speaker. The first has to do with the all-night graduation party that's going to be held uh, later this evening. You know, once you are graduated, then you're no longer our students. So parents are generally the people that take charge in planning that all-night graduation party. And I wanted to recognize those parents that were in, uh, doing the prime planning for this party. So if, as I mentioned your name, would you please stand and be recognized? Veronica Schrand, Anita Bacon, Melinda Bodkin, and Debbie Wyman. Please stand and be recognized. We've had an all-night graduation party in our district since 1987. First high school that did it was Fort Sumald North High School. And then as we've added other high schools over the years, they've also had an all-night graduation party. Prior to that, there were occasionally tragedies that occur with this, this fun time of the year. This is one of the most exciting times of your life. 
and we wanted to occupy your time, give you some good activities so that maybe you would avoid any kind of safety issues. So these parents deserve a lot of credit for uh, keeping you busy later tonight and having a lot of fun. Also, this is Memorial Day weekend. And you all know in the audience, our seniors, you know what we think about veterans because every veterans holiday, you know, we in each one of our 26 schools, we have Veterans Day celebrations. They've been kind of scaled back a little bit the last two years as we tried to deal with this virus. But before that, we would have activities you would, I know, on your football field, and sometimes the military would come in and you could recognize veterans. It goes on throughout our school district. And those of you who have been around for some of those see the tear in an eye that a veteran might have because they realize that you're showing appreciation to them for the sacrifices they made. So Memorial Day really started as Decoration Day 150 years ago when Civil War widows went out and placed flowers on the graves of some of the 650,000 soldiers who lost their lives during that conflict. As time went on, that became, from Decoration Day, it became known as Memorial Day. In 1971, Congress officially decided that Memorial Day would be held on the last Monday in every May. In 2000, Congress decided there would be a moment of remembrance on Memorial Day itself at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And they suggest that on that day you think about the veterans that you've known, maybe relatives, that have given their lives for the freedoms that we enjoy today, including ceremonies such as this. Some people say that Memorial Day allows us to have all the other ceremonies and holidays we have because of the, the price that our veterans paid. So related to that, I would like to announce the names of the students in the audience that have signed up for the military and will become the veterans of tomorrow. So as I call your name, please stand. Uh, William Hernandez for the U.S. Marines. Anya Moharan, U.S. Navy. Rowan Phillips, U.S. Marines. Carrie Paul, U.S. Navy. Christopher Polacek, U.S. West Point, West Point Academy. Colton Smith, U.S. Navy. Christopher Stamper, U.S. Army. Nathan Sweeney, U.S. Army. Dylan Teglo, U.S. Air Force. Jared Thompson, U.S. Army. Dylan White, U.S. Air National Guard. Zoe Wise, Air Force. And not with us, but I want to announce his name anyway, Samuel Davis, U.S. Marines. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Now, how about all the veterans on stage and in the audience? Please stand and, and receive some recognition for everything you've done for us. Please stand. Thank you for everything you've done. We will continue to teach our students about veterans so that we'd never forget. Thank you. Now, my part of the program that started out doing and kind of taking some side uh, trips is to introduce your uh, graduation student speaker. And he is Daniel Geary. Come on up, Daniel.
Daniel is the son of Brian Geary and Gabriella Sirato. During his high, high school career, Daniel participated in everything from marching band to soccer and theater. His primary passion, however, was running for the North High track team for four years. In the fall, Daniel will attend St. Charles Community College, where he plans to earn an associate's degree in business administration. He then plans to attend the University of Missouri-Columbia to complete his bachelor's degree with plans to eventually earn an MBA at school yet to be determined. Ladies and gentlemen, your speaker for today, the class of 21, is Daniel Geary. First thing I want to say is this is pretty nerve-wracking, so feel free to force a laugh during the funny parts. Off to a great start. Second of all, this year was very difficult for a lot of people. On top of being one of the most defining years of our lives, we got hit hard by COVID, but we just kept swimming. For all of us to be here right now is absolutely amazing, and we deserve to give ourselves a quick round of applause. Our lives are about to change in an unprecedented way. But why does that have to be scary? We live through a global pandemic. Think about that. Our lives have already changed in an unprecedented way. If you would have told me sophomore year that we would have a six month long summer vacation, a nationwide toilet paper shortage, and that we'd lose so many things like football games and homecoming, and that we'd have to wear masks everywhere we'd go, I'd call you crazy. But if you told me today that we'd wear masks tomorrow, I'd say, well, duh. I mention this to prove just how easy it is to adapt when our worlds change around us. It is also the perfect thing to tell anyone younger than you that complains about anything ever. Graduating is no different. To anyone out there who thinks they can't handle adult life, I hate to break it to you, but you're wrong. Think of how many times you've thought, oh my God, I'm gonna fail this test, or I don't know how I'm going to do this. You're either wrong or it doesn't matter because it's in the past and you've moved on. To me, that is a comforting thought because it just shows that we worry a lot more than we need to. So if you're worried right now, I guarantee it's over-exaggerated. But now that we've addressed the fear, I got to address the excitement because holy smokes, this is exciting. Our lives up to this point have been building up to this moment. And now, we're starting the next step of our lives. Think of your dreams and realize you're one step closer. You're one step closer to exploring the world, graduating college, landing your dream job, marrying the love of your life, and meeting your child. You're one step closer to taking risk, trying new things, saying yes to adventure, being in charge, growing older, and growing wiser. You're this much closer to it now. Know that I am rooting for each one of you to reach your dreams. But what's kind of funny is there are people in this crowd who I've never met and have never met me. To so those people, hi, I'm Daniel Geary. Probably should have started with that. <laughs> even if you're someone I've never spoken a word to or haven't even crossed paths with, this speech is still meant for you. I truly wish you the best in the world. And who knows, maybe we'll meet for the first time in New York and we'll laugh that we met miles upon miles away You may think that's far-fetched, but there is a world of possibilities that we are about to enter. We have so many open doors in front of us, and they're all going to be new and terrifying and exciting. For all we know, when we're 35, we'll have aliens for neighbors. One thing that I do know for sure will happen is that I'm going to miss a lot of you. It brings me solace, however, knowing that I could see you again in my memories and at class reunions or social media. But uh, growing up, I always wanted to change the world. It was only recently that I realized that all it takes to do that is to change one person's world. If someone could say their life was better because they met you, either through the good times or the good advice, you have made a lasting impact on this earth. And it is so clear how easy that is when I think about the impact other people have had on my life. They all made these four years worth it. My friends, my family, my team, my coaches, my teachers. All of you made it worth it to come to school every single day. Each and every one of you changed my world. 
Even if we had a falling out, drifted apart, or will so in the future, I'm glad to have you all in my life. And I know I'm not the only one who feels that way. To those who I never had the pleasure of meeting, I know you meant something to someone. You made someone's high school experience better, and they made yours better. I hope whoever that person is, you're thinking about them right now with a smile. I have no authority to do so, but if you'd let me, I've got one last piece of homework for you. Cherish these memories, but keep moving forward, which is going to be a lot harder than it sounds. Look back on these days and smile. Appreciate how they've changed you, and then use it as motivation to head straight into the future. There's no need to miss these days. You can always just relive them in your memories. And then pretty soon, you'll make new ones. And I hope you cherish those too. If you go through life appreciating the past, living in the moment, and staying excited for the future, you will live your best life. And I want that for all of you. Thank you. One more time for Daniel Geary. At this time, it's my honor to introduce the class of 2021's very own Madison Brown and Eliza Chanelli. Madison and Eliza will be performing for good as arranged by Mac Hov in honor of our graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, Madison Brown and Eliza Chanelli. Matter 
Madison Brown and Eliza Chanelli. That was awesome. Now I'd like to ask Mr. Casey Oliarnik, assistant principal, to present a, a number of awards for us. These awards are voted on by the faculty. The students who receive these awards will receive a Panther statue with an engraved plate that reads their name, the class of 2021, as well as the award that they received, either citizenship, leadership, and loyalty, or the Rocket Award. The first award is for citizenship. The individual receiving this award has consistently demonstrated behavior that is honest, moral, respectable, and ethical. The individual has conducted their life in a manner to be emulated. The award goes to Sarah Bacon. Sarah, if you'd please come forward. Sarah is the daughter of Joe and Anita Bacon. During her high school career, Sarah has been a member of our cross country and track teams as well as our choir and theater programs. Sarah was also a member of our League of Leaders, PPI Mentors, and Educators Rising. Sarah is also a Fellowship of Christian Athletes Huddle Leader as well as a Breakdown St. Louis Leadership Team member. Sarah has been recognized. Sarah, Sarah. Sarah has been recognized with a Positive Peer Influence Award, as well as a Daughter of American Revolution Citizenship Award, and was selected to attend both Hobie and Missouri Girls State that unfortunately last summer was canceled. This fall, Sarah will attend Lindenwood University, where she was the recipient of the Lindenwood University Partial Sibley Scholarship, the Legacy Scholarship, and the an Academic Scholarship. Sarah plans to major in education. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fort Zumwalt North Faculty Choice for Citizenship Award, Ms. Sarah Bacon. Casey's new. We hang on to it, otherwise it gets awkward in your seat. Our second award is for loyalty and leadership. The individual receiving this award has demonstrated the skills to be an effective leader by example, foresight, initiative, and has exhibited the energy to guide others in a trustworthy and sincere capacity. And this award goes to Grace Rogers. Grace, if you would come forward. Grace is the daughter of Tim and Jennifer Rogers. As she was introduced earlier, she's a class officer from the class of 2021. Additionally, Grace served as the president of both Student Council and National Honor Society. During her high school career, Grace was also a four-year member of our varsity soccer team, serving as team captain this year. Grace was also attended the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Conference during the summer following her sophomore year. Grace was recently selected to participate in the MAC Senior All-Star Soccer Game. Grace was also selected as a member of our League of Leaders and also served as a PPI mentor. This fall, Grace will attend Webster University, where she has earned the Webster University Gorlock Gold Merit Scholarship, as well as the Webster University Leadership and A-plus Scholarship. Grace has also been offered and has accepted placement on the women's soccer team at, Quint er, at Webster University. Ladies and gentlemen, the faculty choice for leadership, Ms. Grace Rogers.
And finally, this is the, the seventh annual Rocket Award. As you may or may not know, the Rocket Award is named after the class of 2015 graduate DJ Rocket and is given to the student who's infused our students with the most uh, positive and authentic school spirit during their senior year at our high school. I'm pleased to announce that the winner of the seventh annual Rocket Award is Nate Rappling. Nate is the son of Matt and Diane Rappling. During his high school career, Nate's been a member of our legal leaders and participated in our football, basketball, and golf programs, but it's really the football program where he's shined the brightest. Nate was named first team all-conference and second team all-district during his junior year, and first team all-conference and GAC Central Player of the Year in this his senior year. This year, Nate was also named first team all-district, second team all-state by the Coaches Association, and first team all-state is selected by the media. Additionally, Nate was also named to the St. Louis Post-Dispatch First Team All-Metro Team. Finally, Nate was also the recipient of the prestigious Brandon Burlesworth Character Award, and naturally, he's a committed member of our superfans. This fall, Nate plans to attend Illinois Wesleyan University, where he is the recipient of the Illinois Wesleyan University Alumni Scholarship. He plans to study business, and not surprisingly, plans to continue his football career with the Titans while furthering his education. Ladies and gentlemen, the Faculty Choice winner for the Rocket Award, Mr. Nate Rappling. And at this time, I'd like to direct your attention to the video boards. It is my honor to share with you the Fort Zumwalt North Symphonic Orchestra performing the timeless classic, I'll Be There, under the direction of Ms. Janina Kennessy in honor of our graduates. One more time for our symphonic orchestra. Thank you guys. I know many of you are here with us. At this time, I'd like to ask the Board of Education to please prepare to present diplomas to the students of the class of 2021. Members of the board, these students have met the grade and credit requirements of the Fort Zumwalt Board of Education and the state of Missouri and should now prepare to receive their diplomas. Students, please remain mindful that should you leave your mask on, if you choose, when you approach the stage. As you get ready to make a walk across the stage, it's up to your own comfort level if you wish to take your mask off when receiving your diploma cover and having your picture taken. I am prepared to match you when you do so. If you move closer to me and you say, put your mask on, I brought one, just in case. All things I never thought I would say in a graduation speech. Ms. Niggas, if you would come forward at this time, Ladies and gentlemen, let's prepare to meet the class of 2021.
Emily Joy Albers, magna cum laude. Zoe Jennifer Aldrich, summa cum laude. Kelly Rose Allensworth, magna cum laude. Haley Marie Allinger. Emily Rose Alterson. Rachel Elena Alva. Brandon Robert Alvarado. Blake William Anderson, summa cum laude. Edward Robert Angelbeck. Antonio Flanoy Babb. Sarah Ellen Bacon, summa cum laude. Ayat Bader. Ezra Said Bader. Nadia Gabriela Badillo Castro. Xavier Neil Alexander Ballard. Alyssa Marie Bampton. Logan Allen Barkledge. Dakota James Barnett. Morgan Elise Bartold, magna cum laude. Abdul Karim Muhammad Badwin. Nicholas Matthew Beatty. Nicole Jean Bellman. Madeline Michelle Bynes, summa cum laude. Matthew Allen Bissett. Joseph Robert Bibb. <laughs> Jenna Rose Blessing, cum laude. Robert Thomas Bose. Emma Lee Bockoff. Michaela Noel Bowles, summa cum laude. Ian Alexander Boone. Haley Elizabeth Booth, summa cum laude. Connor Nicholas Bostic.
Jackson Joshua Boyd. Ryan William Boyer. Tyler Andrew Boyer. Mackenzie Lane Boyle, summa cum laude. Cole Tyler Brandt. Jordan Maxine Brandt. Kaylee Angela Brown, summa cum laude. Jacob Lauren Breeze. Sophia Marie Brinker, magna cum laude. Abigail Caroline Brothers. Benjamin Aaron Brown, cum laude. Gavin Van Brown. Madison Grace Brown, summa cum laude. Cameron Jacquees Bryant. Rebecca Jane Burns. Madeline Kate Burwell. Ethan Andrew Bussey, magna cum laude. Brian A. Campos. Michael Lee Campbell, Jr. Blake Joseph Canada, magna cum laude. Jacob Michael Cannon. Nicole Lynn Cap, summa cum laude. Courtney Marie Cheney, summa cum laude. Sean William Cheney. Kylie Aaron Childress. Jenna Catherine Kristoff. Brendan Michael Clark. Riley Nicole Clark. Joseph David Clogston. Mason Vincent Cochran, magna cum laude. Taylor Olivia Cooper. Gary Lee Cox. Reagan Marie Coyne. Kylie Reese Crabtree. Jacob Matthew Crayon. Jade Marie Crayley, summa cum laude. Brennan D. Crawford, summa cum laude. (laughs) 
Abigail Ann Deline. Aiden Lee Daniels. Jade Elizabeth Darter, magna cum laude. Blake William Davis. Britton Grace Davis. Stephen Michael Davis. Miguel Angel de la Cruz Sandoval. Benjamin Michael Dietrich. Jamie Lynn Disterhop, magna cum laude. Dustin James Dovey. Ian Thomas Drake. Parker Evan Drake Smith. Kaylee Jalen Dumay. Kaylee Rose Donovan. Mackenzie Hope Dye. Tyler Joseph Edwards. Sarah Elizabeth Epps, magna cum laude. Brennan Connor Essman. Zachary Norman Farrell. Madeline Sue Ferrario. Chloe Marie Fisher. Gage Doroteo Allen Flores, cum laude. Emma Christine Folkerts. Leonard Andrew Fryho III. Adriana Marie Francis. Lance Hunter Frazier. Christopher Nathan Futrell. Daniel Joseph Geary. Cameron Theodore George, summa cum laude. Alexander Joseph Gore, cum laude. Paige Victoria Grayler. Rory Michael Griffin, cum laude. Quinn Michael Grooms. Brian Lee Grubb. Clayton James Hall. Mackenzie Karen Hall, summa cum laude. Mitchell John Hall.
Vincent Cole Harris. April Lorraine Harrison. Aubrey Jade Hedges. Savannah Marie Henderson, summa cum laude. Elena Nicole Henriksen, cum laude. Brendan Eric Henthorn. William Hiberto Hernandez. Colton Christopher Hill, summa cum laude. Isabella May Hill, summa cum laude. Devin Joseph Heimbaugh. Catherine Marie Hinkabine, magna cum laude. Blaine Garrett Huckelman. Madison Nicole Hain, cum laude. Nicole Renee Hoff, summa cum laude. Alexandra Claire Hoffman, cum laude. Bailey Joy Hoffman. Bennett Wayne Hofschwelly. Taylor Lynn Hopkins, summa cum laude. William James Hosack. Ethan James Hunt. Jason Samuel Hunt. Jillian Marie Huger. Andrew Robert Eiler. Austin Kenneth Janes, magna cum laude. Jihad Suhail Jaraba. Ethan Anthony Jenkins. Catherine Flora Johnston, summa cum laude. Jocelyn Ann Jones. Jordan Marcus Jones. Storm Quinton Jones. Kaylee Michelle Judy. Zachary Dennis Keevan. Victoria Grace Keith. Riley Michael Kell. Brendan Michael Kelly. Roderick Donnell Knights, Jr. Tyler Jacoby Knox. Nicole Christine Kester.
Jacob Walter Kolkmeyer, magna cum laude. Haley Jade Coplin. Marley Elizabeth Kornberger. Devin Jacob Culp. Colin Dale Labanca. Brendan David Lebeau. Alexis Riley Lafort. Brendan Lee Lance, summa cum laude. Mia Danielle Lane. Brianna Jo Lang. Cameron James Latina. Calvin Daniel Lee. Jade Eliza Lewis. Andrew Stephen Long. Taylor Lachey Lowry. Marissa Nicole Lukenhaus. Jillian Marie Lumley. Brendan John Mahoney. Jacob William Mallet. Patrick Scott Manlove. Madison Beatrice Marsec. Maxwell Edward Mason, magna cum laude. Elena Deanne Matthews. Megan Elizabeth McNeese. Logan Riley McClintock. Trevor David McCune. Avery May McGee, magna cum laude. Jonathan Thomas McGilvray. Nicole Marie McGinnis. <laughs> Kathleen Edna McGowan, summa cum laude. Avery Dawn Mead, magna cum laude. Naima Nailina Meeks. Robert Andrew Menemeyer.
Robert Walter Maris. Anna Zarina Maria Militello. Lauren Ashley Miller, summa cum laude. Parker Chase Monning, summa cum laude. Jerrica Aliyah Moody, magna cum laude. Jocelyn Morales Solario. Joshua David Marino Hagen. Garrett Michael Morgan. Samuel Fisher Morris. Courtney Elizabeth Moss. Austin James Moyer, cum laude. Jackson Anthony Mueller. Sophia Catherine Miller, summa cum laude. Anya K. Mulherin. Madeline Rose Molnix. Caitlin Grace Munson. Caitlin Grace Newman. Jack Wayne Newcomb. Win Tuang Nyuk Tran. Ashley Marie Nimchek, summa cum laude. Nathan Michael Nimala, cum laude. Laura Margaret O'Brien, summa cum laude. Tyler James Oaks. Eric Hunter Olson, summa cum laude. Kylie Grace Orf. Logan Michael Orf. Dean Michael Palliser. John Thomas Palmer. Faith Nicole Parker. Ella Rose Patterson. Carrie Edward Paul III. Dominic Austin Parati. Drew William Parat. Kiera Lee Peters. Rowan Xavier Phillips. Emily Elizabeth Peel, cum laude. Samantha Elizabeth Piper. Colin Joseph Pierce.
Ethan Scott Piotter. Petra Polakova. Christopher Gerald Polashek, magna cum laude. Ashley Christine Pope. Alberto Xavier Posadas. George Lewis Pruitt. Dakota Marie Puckett. Hannah Renee Pewter. Jalea Christine Rappling. Nathan Daniel Rappling. Zion Damar Reading. Jesse Dane Rebstock. Brooklyn K. Reagan. Jessica Nicole Reynolds. Robert Luis Ressix, magna cum laude. Brooke Elizabeth Riley, summa cum laude. Xavier Alexander Robinson. Matthew Cole Rocco. Ryan Scott Rodewald. Grace Marie Rogers, summa cum laude. Miles Thomas Rogers, cum laude. Zoe Elizabeth Rogers, magna cum laude. Alexis Gabrielle Rose. Connor Thomas Ross. Matthew Coleman Ross. Olivia Pearl Ross. Ethan Michael Russell. Mason Lee Salazar. Alexa Page Skates. Jack Haywood Schellinger. Daniel K. Schloop III. Elijah Matthew Schneider. Elizabeth Feline Chanelli. Lydia Elise Chanelli, magna cum laude. Laura Rosemarie Schwer. Sarah Ellen Schulte. Alyssa Renee Shupp. Elena Jasmine Schwamm. Paige Madison Schwartz.
Darian Shay Schwenkter. Andrew William Schwert. Wendell Jeffrey Keith Sedberry. Elena Ray Mattingly Serna. Bradley Lawrence Shaw. Emma Lee Sides. Aiden James Seamer. Kendall Marie Simpson. Michaela Ann Sizemore. Colton Walker Smith. Hannah Lucille Smith. Andrew Sebastian Snyder. Caroline Elizabeth Staub. Christopher John Stamper. Julia Carolyn Steltenpole. Carter Robert Tem. Drake Michael Stevenson. Madison Grace Strunk. Danielle Elizabeth Sutton, magna cum laude. Nathan Wyatt Swinney. Faith Marie Swoboda, cum laude. Daniel Joshua Tagbo. Julia Jean Talbert, magna cum laude. Dylan Michael Teglo. Derek Michael Tentshirt. Anna Schultz Tharp, summa cum laude. Shondale David Thomas, Jr. Jared Anthony Thompson, Jr. Margaret Claire Thompson. Camille Lynn Tillerson. I made it. Yeah, I made it. Jeremiah Xavier Tobar.
Samuel Tyler Travis. Logan Robert John Tripammer. Riley Elizabeth Tucker. Darby Anna Tugman, cum laude. Chloe Nicole Tiberzi. Jacob Andrew Tyler. Callie Jean Unger. Anthony Joseph Urban. Connor Allen Vary. Angeline Faith Rose Vickers. Angela Simbillo Villar. Grace Ann Vogel, summa cum laude. Catherine Dolores Vogel, summa cum laude. Alana Grace Vogt, summa cum laude. Parker Robert Wagner, cum laude. Haley Nicole Wallace. Mary Catherine Ward, magna cum laude. Jade McKenzie Warnum, cum laude. Mila Danielle Warren. Madeline James Waters. Michael Fred Watts. Allison Claire Welker. Dylan Christopher White, magna cum laude. Samuel James Wisner. Carter Doyle Wigginton. Colin Lee Wilkerson. Brishe Amir Williams. Deshaun Jeremiah Williams. Emma Johnny Catherine Williams. Jacob Johannes Drang Wills. Molly Elizabeth Wilmes, magna cum laude. Maggie Rose Wishman, summa cum laude. Zoe Nicole Wise. Mason John Wohler, summa cum laude. Alexis Christine Wolf. Nicole Elizabeth Wyatt. 
Andrew Jonathan Wyman, summa cum laude. Ethan Lee Young. Kennedy Lou Violet Yole. Ali Lauren Yin Hefang Zadarella, summa cum laude. Cameron Paige Zolke. A couple more pieces of information as we wrap up tonight's ceremony. Students, after the moving of your tassels and the optional throwing of your caps, you'll be directed row by row, beginning with the last row on the floor by Mr. Spiegel and Mr. Oliarnik to exit the arena. Please do not congregate in the arena entryway waiting for your parents or your friends. Please continue out of the facility and make your way to the parking lot where you can meet up with your friends and your parents. Parents and guests, similarly, you will be released by section, and this will be done by the Family Arena staff. Please be patient as we try to exit the facility in an orderly manner. At this time, I would like to ask the class of 2021 to please rise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is now the moment for our graduates, the class of 2021, to move their tassel from the right to the left to signify graduate. At this time, I'd like to thank Dr. DeBray, the Board of Education, as well as the administration and faculty of Fort Zumwalt North High School for their presence and participation. Fort Zumwalt North class of 2021, I congratulate you on earning the distinct honor of high school graduate. I don't know a group of people who've ever had to work harder for it. Please know that everyone in this arena is supremely proud of you and wishes you only the very best in your very bright futures. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you the 59th graduating class from Fort Zumwalt North High School, the class of 2021. <laughs>